Happy New Year, everybody. How are you doing? Did you get to go outside and play and start this year off strong? That's what I'm about to do. You wouldn't know it right now, but it's 54 degrees out in the winter time. It's January 2nd, 2023, and it's really warm where I'm standing now. I only have a little rain jacket on, but I'm going. I'm gonna go out to a mountain and see if I can find some snow and some ice to play in. So anyway, my name is Melanie. You're coming to me from my trunk as I pack up my gear. I am the voice that you hear on all the Onward videos, and I'm counting down with 514 days left to train my body and to get my life into some kind of semblance of order um, so that I can through hike the Appalachian Trail in June of 2024. All right, so the reason that you get to see my smiling face instead of just watching some pictures on a video is because it's a Q&A day. Last week, I actually got to set foot on the Appalachian Trail. Yay, yay, yay. And um, it was quite the experience. There was a nor'eastern storm happening. There was a lot of snow and ice happening. Also last week, I did something in Pennsylvania called the Green Monster, and that was an exciting, snowy, icy, long trek of a time. Put in over 100,000 steps last week. That's amazing, wonderful. But the question came up, how do you stay motivated when it's cold out, when it's icy out, when it's snowy out, when you know that you're just gonna be suffering out there on the trail? What is it that makes you stay motivated? So I'm gonna answer that for you today. Okay, first of all, the better question might be, how do I motivate myself to do anything besides hike on a trail? No matter what the weather is. One of my top motivations is that my mojo is so much better when I am hiking, when hiking is a part of my life. I really do miss the trails when I'm not on them. Um, my body and my spirit just stays so much stronger when I'm able to have that escape, when I'm able to challenge myself a little bit, when I'm able to make this my lifestyle. I'm able to be a little bit more graceful in real life situations, real life situations and um, things that I consider challenging as a business owner, as a parent, as a person that's just trying to get by in this world as it is today. So it's kind of like when an artist escapes into their studio to paint or a writer pulls a poem out of their heart, similar to that. It's just, it's my way. It's my way of making peace with myself. So that's definitely a huge motivation. Mental health is a good thing. Motivation number two would be that I have a really competitive nature. You might not know it. People think I'm actually a sweetheart, but <laughs> I do have a very competitive nature and I don't have very many outlets that are with other people. So I have to find ways to find those wins and those successes within myself. So I love the planning. I love the, the spreadsheets where I get to track my days and track my miles and see where the places I'm going to go and take this challenge and this challenge and this challenge and complete this mountain range and do this kind of terrain. And every additional mile that I complete and every additional elevation gain that I conquer, it feels really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm often looking at my statistics and going, whoa. You did that. You just did that. My cat just climbed up into my trunk. <laughs> I hope you don't want to go hiking, kitty. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I learned so much about my capacity to be a strong human being through hiking. And that was through the incrementally being a little bit more competitive with myself. Once you get to a certain point, then you just can't really turn around. So I learned that you keep going or you call a helicopter, but I'm not going to do that. So I have to stay motivated. I have to, I have to succeed. I have to finish that loop. I have to finish that trail. And I always feel better when I do. That's motivation number two. All right. Number three, <laughs> number three is a little bit funny. Probably it's actually the thing that I think about the most in my daily life, whether I'm hiking or not. And sorry to disappoint. It's nothing wise nothing spiritual. It's nothing that's going to prompt anybody into anything but maybe laughing because my third motivation is food. I love food so much. I love to eat. I love to cook. I love being with food. I can hear the neighbors are busy. They're taking advantage of this day too. hope they're going to get hungry while they're doing it. Anyway, I think I consider 
what my choices are for eating healthier choices these days. But um, what I love about hiking is that I never, ever, ever have to count calories ever again as long as I'm hiking. So when you're out there and you're on a mountain and maybe you're shivering because it's cold or you have the sun beating down on you and it's hot or you just put a lot of effort into the terrain, you burn a thousand calories, two thousand calories, three thousand calories. Men I've heard are burning a lot more than that. So I'm eating a lot to make up for all of that calorie loss and I am loving it. I am so indulging in food these days. So motivation number three. Motivation number four is that I actually really love sharing all of this. Um, I love sharing my experiences. I love encouraging other people to go out there and see what it would look like for them to take a walk or take a hike. And um, yeah, it's, it's nice to share things. It's like, is the sunset the same if you're not sharing it with somebody? Sometimes, sometimes it is. <laughs> but whether it's the pictures, or the videos or the conversations when I'm not on the trail or on the occasions that there are people that join me in the hikes. I just really love having somebody out there with me um, and being able to share what's happening in waterfalls, what's happening in the plants and the trees and the trail, share the, sometimes the challenge, the hardness of actually accomplishing the trail. So the everything, it's the sharing. And lastly for today, I mean, I could go on and on and on about what motivates me to be out there, but I'm trying to keep these videos short so that you'll watch them. <laughs> but the fifth thing is that I'm a deep dive learner. And right now it's definitely time to have learning experiences when I'm out on the trail. Um, once I find out that I want to learn about something, I go all in. I have fun with it and I learn as much as I possibly can. So I'm learning about the weather, I'm learning about the terrain, I'm learning about my body and how it is on the trail. I'm learning when to take the easy routes, I'm learning when to take the harder routes and it's okay to challenge myself. I learn about the history of the land that I'm on. I learn about the gear and how it works and sometimes how gear does not work very well at all in malfunctions and then you have to improvise and then you have to find a way to stay alive. That's all fun. I learn when I can push myself and I can learn when I can't push myself any further and I just have to find a way to pull out some spite, get myself off that trail and back to my car. So learning, definitely a ton of learning happening <laughs> and that is a lot of motivation for me. I'm such a nerd. So that's what I have for you for my five motivations that I can come up with for now. Um, as of anything, motivation to do anything that's hard motivation to do things when other people maybe are not necessarily doing them. That's an inside job. It's, it's, it comes from here, really. You have to find out what you're motivated to do for yourself, for what you think that you deserve, for what you think that you're worthy of, and it, then it's a no-brainer to keep doing what you love. Like You don't even need to find ways to be motivated. There's no chore. There's no burden. You just go because you love it and because you love the challenge. So that's what I have for you today. But I'm curious to know if you're watching this, what motivates you? If you're somebody that is getting outside, you're somebody that is wanting to explore and you have the motivation to be hiking, then what, what is your drive? What is your number one reason? Maybe put it in the comments below. All right. Have a good rest of your year. Happy 2023. Let's do this. Bye.